Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Zelensky, the current president of Ukraine, convened a secret meeting with uh, whomever he could grab from his leadership, military, uh, intelligence services, uh, ladies of the night, whomever he could grab. Let me start reading this article, which I think is very, very revealing <clears throat> because I think I can make the point that a big change will occur if we had this little meeting that I've never heard before. There's a lot of things that occurred before the meeting and then with this meeting, for me, it reinforces a theory. A theory. And we're gonna find out, I think, in the near future, very near future, I would say maybe a week at the most, which way is going to be. I am assuming is going to be uh, the starting of peace process. But let's see what's going on here. So Ukrainska Pravda reports on August 28, 2022. Zelensky convenes secret meeting to discuss situation at the front. Never heard this before. Never. The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, convened a secret meeting with representatives of Ukraine's defense and security sectors. General staff of the armed forces of Ukraine on Facebook information as of 1800 on 28 or 1800, it's 6 o'clock p.m. on 28th of August. And I'm quoting, the meeting was attended by the heads of the armed forces, intelligence agencies, the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, the Security Service of Ukraine, and other defense forces. The participants in the meeting, the participants in the meeting, which was classified as secret, heard information about the combat situation at the front and discussed several other security and defense issues. In particular, they focused on the needs of the Ukrainian army and coordination with Ukraine's international partners at various levels. End quote. Very important. The attendees also discussed the execution of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief earlier orders. <laughs> the attendees also discussed the ex execution of Supreme Commanders-in-Chief's earlier orders. Okay, not that. I thought, no, nah, no. Nah. All right, so let's see what's going on. This is the first time when this occurred, or at least I heard about it. I've never heard it before, <laughs> about something like this before. Now, let me get you what I think is going to happen. About three days ago, it was the first time, no, actually not the first time, it was the second time. The first time was in March, I think, when it was that meeting in uh, between the um, Russians and Ukrainians in Turkey under the watchful eye of uh, President Erdogan, um, when it was discussed the safety, security guarantees of Ukraine in case everything, you know, shake hands. It was the first time when Ukraine said, okay, we can talk about peace process, but it's going to be figured out having security guarantees from some countries that we say if Russia breaks it or Ukraine breaks it, they will militarily intervene and support which one, whichever. So, and there was China, United States, I think it was, there were some countries over there. And then remember, I'm not going to go into it. So that was the first, the second time when that happened. It was about two days ago, I think, two or three days ago when they talked about it. I was like, the Ukrainians talked about it. And I was like, whoa, all of a sudden we talk about that again? What happened? That means that's talk behind and everywhere, you know, about something. Then I said, well, look, my antennas was, were out. What was next? The next, the Ukrainian came out. I think Danilov, that uh, below 86 IQ, and he came and said, we have six, six points, preconditions, in order for us to discuss and when we discuss the peace process. Oh, that was the first time when I heard that. Remember, that was the next day. And then correlation, I don't know, maybe. Th that's the way I make, I'm making my point. And they talked, they said about six points, before we do this, that has to happen, and we discuss in this framework. I was, whoa, 
Oh, oh, they already thought about it. They discussed it. They planned it already. And they come and say it. Second. The third one was, um, oh my God, now I know that the, the third one was, let me uh, think a little bit, because I think the fourth one, the fourth one was President Biden call with Zelensky, which occurred, I think, yesterday. So there was another, whoa, wh wh what's going on over here? Oh, the third one. The third one was an article that I made a video, I think, on where they said that this war, um, they know how this war will end. And it's going to end before December. How do you already talk about this? And they already knew that this war will end with this and that. Okay. And then the last one, as I said, the fourth one, uh, this is the fifth one that I just mentioned in the article. The fourth one was the call between Biden and Zelensky. I can also use Boris Johnson's uh, arrival in Kiev which is on his way out. I don't know how much power he's got, but he had to see his buddy and talk about it, give him the last orders before he <clears throat> goes away, you know, in the horizon, disappears. So, then it was the phone between Biden and Zelensky. Last phone call between these guys were they, when they argued, when they talked about, no, you didn't tell me, yes, you told me, no, you didn't tell me, yes, I told you about the imminent Russian operation, invasion, attack, however. Remember when they, uh, the Biden said, yes, I told him about it, but he didn't want to hear it, anything about it. And then Zelensky said, no, uh, I, I did. I, I, I. And then they say, yeah, OK, bye. I'm not going to talk to you. Just do your job over there, my subordinate Biden. And now they talked again. And I wonder why did they talk about this again? It was uh, uh, yesterday, uh, Czech Republic, who is the chair, uh, chair state or something of the European Union. Uh, they are chairing the European Union right now or something. They convened, uh, they asked, they called for an emergency meeting between the uh, European nation states to come over the ministers of finances and discuss the crisis. We can't make it. We need gas. Not that kind of gas. Natural gas. Uh, you can say fart is a natural gas as well. But ne nevertheless, they, can, they asked for that. Then Germany said, we're not going to give more. What's going on here? We need our... Uh, then they said, we can't give you any more um, ammunition or anything because we are depleted. Everybody's like squeaking and ah, mm, ah, ooh, ah, ah. All this with the last call that was yesterday between Biden and today we have this meeting. I think it's no. I have a gut feeling this and I don't like gut feelings, but, you know, but I have evidence. You can say, I mean, they are not, uh, you know, actually there's no correlation here and uh, you can't uh, assume causation here. Well, so be it. But. I choose to pick all these signs. Why? Because they were not there before. And they're all in the, in the past, what, three days? It's, it's, it's too coincidental. Uh, this is a theory. I'm, I agree with that. But they were not two weeks ago. It was not three weeks ago, four weeks ago. There were not any of this like separated by a week apart. No, in the last three days, all this converged. And now they hold a meeting Secret meeting had never been before. What do you think they talk about? We're going to smash the Russians? Or maybe, guys, I think we got to, uh, we got to do something here. The guys said that we got to do that. And they said, well, we're going to give you $3 billion in, in aid. That's true. The Brits said, we're going to give you 50, some 50, 50, 55 uh, million, dollar, million uh, pounds, which is about, I don't know, 65 uh, million dollars. The Germans said, well, we're going to give you two, uh, some million dollars. That's true. Maybe they're going to discuss, okay, this is the counteroffensive. So something big will come. It's either we're going to talk with these guys or it's going to be, remember the Germans said, we're going to send it to you in 2024. That's what they said. They're saying Americans, we don't send it to you right now. So probably the war ends and they say, well, we were nice and we were, pro we were about to provide you with all that. But now that it's over. So I don't know. I don't know. This is just scenarios. I think it's going to be something very important either way. Either I, I, don't, I don't even know how could it be a counteroffensive with all those weapons or it's going to be a talk about uh, how about we call those guys and we call a meeting with them. I suspect this is uh, the option uh, that will be option number two. Click. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.